Here is Sumner. Lovely control, as always. Looks such an elegant, thoughtful player. That's a good-looking ball, too. Cut out well. Oh, might well have been clear down the right end. And again, Sumner getting a good ball in towards the middle. Brian Turner climbing high with the goalkeeper. And the uh, referee deciding, in fact, that Brian Turner went a little bit too high as Marwan came out to save. And it's New Zealand's first corner of the game. And what can we produce here? Wood in with the corner. Not a bad-looking one. Headed clear by Al Harbi. Back in it goes from both to Brian Turner. There's Sumner. Oh, that really ought to have been the first goal. That was a good opportunity, no doubt about that. And the Saudis, a little lucky to get away with that. And New Zealand may look back on that and rue that missed opportunity. Goal kick it is anyway. Good turn header again. And this time he's through and the flag has stayed down. And Rufa has scored. It's 1-0 to New Zealand. What a marvellous moment. And again, it's New Zealand who can break that offside trap so well. And with just 16 minutes gone, Winton Rufa scores his second goal in two World Cup ties. A long, long way to go. Let's not uh, kid ourselves about that. Five goals at least needed. But what a great start. And here's Woodin. Now, can they press home this early advantage? As Woodin crosses dangerously. Oh, the ball knocked straight back to Brian Turner. And it's two! Brian Turner has scored a second in the space of 30 seconds. And New Zealand are 2-0 up. A terrible defensive mistake. Rufus having a good game. He looks a skillful player. No wonder Norwich City wants to sign him. As the Saudis move forward themselves. Mushibi. Good skillful player he is. Seems a bit harsh to me. Sound like uh, raising the referee at one moment when he books a Saudi and damning him when he books a New Zealander. But that seems a bit of a tackle to me by Steve Sumner. Seems to me a 50-50 ball. Anyway, Alan Both is still down injured. Uh, Khalifa received it for Saudi Arabia. The recent defender making the run, so is Majid Abdullah. Wilson gets up and misses it. living dangerously then. Wilson coming and missing. Dobbs and Bobby Armand again they charge forward hoping for offside. And a scramble and Brian Turner's onside. Now can he finish? He's got the hole of goalkeeper. He's out of his area makes the most incredible save and then gives it away to Rupert. What on earth is going on? That has to be a free kick surely. Oh what a remarkable incident that was over the free kick so is Woodin and so too is Rufa and the ball for Rufa who makes room for himself well but then loses it and a little bit too elaborate then that New Zealand and the pay for it this looks a dangerous break and Harkey does do a clear on the left here he is the shot is blocked brilliantly by Dodd I suppose when you're pressing forward as New Zealand have to you're always going to be open to a kind of counter attack and it's the danger not gone yet comes through to Camille Oh, what a brave header that was. And no wonder he's lying injured. That really was a brave header. I think it's Bobby Armand who got a crack on the head then. Here's Brian Turner's work really hard. And helps to win that throw off Jawad. Sumner takes. Sumner again. Clipped in towards Rufa. Headed down for Wood in. Can it come to his left foot? It does. Oh, it's in! Steve Wayne has scored and it's 3 0 to New Zealand. What was the goalkeeper thinking of then? But who really cares? A marvellous build up again by New Zealand. Woodin with the confidence to go it alone and chips it across the goal mouth. Oh, he's managed to lose and it's four! It's four to New Zealand! Rufa forcing it home after Woodin's cross come shot had been dropped by the goalkeeper. And it's difficult to believe, but it's really happening. It's Saudi Arabia nil. New Zealand for Winton Rufa forced it home, his second goal of the game. But the mountain that New Zealand had to climb is now just a hill. As Brian Turner flicks it on, oh, and it was so close to a fifth goal by Winton Rufa. Sensibly played first time, though, not a good ball. Here's Marzouk. 4-0 to New Zealand. The Saudis on the attack, though. Here's Kamis. Well, that's a good ball in field to Darwish, and uh, fortunately, Wilson's dive, I'm sure, was enough 
to throw Darwish off his stride. Two minutes to go to half time. Saudi Arabia nil, New Zealand four. Marzouk on the ball running through here, and in goes Wood in and clips it goalwards, and again collected an injury. And in fact, the referee has given a penalty. The referee has given a penalty. Woodin goes down under that challenge from Marwan, and a penalty has been given. New Zealand's most capped player ever with an absolutely vital spot kick. And he's got it! It's 5-0! Brian Taylor has scored, and the celebrations amongst the New Zealand players have started. There's a long, long way to go. And the whistle now just seconds away from an absolutely memorable first half. And there is the whistle, the half-time score. Saudi Arabia, nil, New Zealand, five. And the uh, Saudi defense haven't looked too happy so far. What can Woodin's corner produce? Up goes Ricky Herbert. Ooh, and a clawing save. Good save. And the corner will restart the match. Khalifa takes it. Up goes Majid Abdullah. Got a flick to it, didn't come to him. And a great long shot that. Uh, just over the crossbar, I think it was Alpishi behind it. Coming up to 10 minutes gone in the second half. Saudi Arabia, nil, New Zealand, five. And the ball running to Rufa. Then on towards Woodin. Oh, was that handball? No, it wasn't. And that was a dangerous back pass by Alpishi. And again, then in all kinds of trouble. Really, Saudi defence do not know how to cope with any kind of threat at all, it seems, sometimes. Down the line, but not a good one, straight to Sumner, on towards Cole, a bouncing ball headed clear by Jawad, but back it goes in again to Brian Turner, turns it forward, here's Rufa! Oh, dearie, dearie me. Well, it's certainly been the uh, easiest of the two or three opportunities that's fallen Winton Rufa's way so far. Wood him in the corner again. Good looking one, Ricky Herbert gets up. Oh, it dropped just over the top. That's two balls he's won from corner kicks. Here's Moshibi for Saudi Arabia. Anis. Battling <laughs> off there with Brian Turner, who uh, will be the first to admit. Oh dear, I'm booking for Brian Turner, that's a shame. They get another goal in New Zealand without reply, and they will go through to Spain without any questions. As Woodin knocks it through, and here's Rufa again. Oh, the goalkeeper has made a fine save. Perhaps Rufa ought to have had that one in and completed his hat-trick and maybe given us that sixth goal we've been praying for. Ricky Herbert has joined those forward in the Saudi box. Good looking one, two. Oh, and the header, well, he climbed high enough, certainly. And what a tense 15 minutes is going to be for New Zealand and their fans. Here's Brian Turner. Oh, Woodin is free again. And can he keep his cool here? Steve Woodin with a marvellous chance. Oh, he's pulled it wide of the post. Steve Woodin might well have clinched it for New Zealand then. And looking stronger Saudi now, ironically, than at any stage in the match. 5 nil down as the ball is clipped in. Ricky Herbert goes up. And the ball knocked back again, dangerously towards the goal. Elric going up, appeals for a penalty, but uh, no question that the referee was right the way to play on. But now perhaps is the time for him to come off goes Elric. Brian Turner. Some are through. And Elric is on side. Now here's a chance. New Zealand pushing players forward quickly. Elric on his own. Turned it across goal. The header here. It's hit the bar. It's hit the bar. Well, well, well. Duncan Cole got forward and his header struck the outside of the bar and the post to throw in. And Cole takes it. Looking for Malcolmson on the near post, who gets the back header. Up goes Ricky Herbert, the keeper gets it, drops it, it runs loose, and it comes to Sumner. He drives it in, and that's a goal kick, because it came uh, off one of his own players, I think. Here's Malcolmson on the right. Cole and uh, Woodin arriving in the box. Then forward to Rufa, that's a good-looking ball. Cole going up with the goalkeeper. The ball dropping, and the foul given for... Free kick given, rather, for a foul by Cole on the keeper. New Zealand have grown to realise Elric doing well. Here's Rufa. Back again to Elric. And he's onside. Elric goes it alone. Can he finish it off here? 
He pulls it back. He's still got it, Elric. Pulls it back for Woodin. Woodin tries the shot across the face of goal. It almost came to Mackay. Here's Rupert. Charge down. That's got to be a free kick. Absolutely wild challenge by the big defender. He will be quite rightly shown the yellow card in Farwee. One of their final opportunities, perhaps. Free kick taken quickly. Oh, and the goalkeeper gets it and then drops it, and that's a corner. That was intelligent play by Woodin. A minute and a half to go. Woodin with the corner. Up goes the head. Oh, and the goalkeeper, Marwan, right underneath it. And it looks as though this is now the final opportunity. Malcolmson, can he keep his control? He can't. The ball run over the line, and that, in fact, is the end of the match. So, New Zealand gloriously earn another opportunity. They strive so hard, they fought so well for the goal that would have made Spain a reality. But let's face it, how many people, when we left Q8 a few days ago, believed that here tonight, at the end of this match, New Zealand would still be in with a chance of going to Spain? I suspect very few. But they are, they've earned the right to a replay because they have now the same number of points and exactly the same goal difference as China.